guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and today this is a part two of a two-part series. Now, this is pertaining towards the first tutorial I posted about how to draw a girl Animal Crossing character. Today, we're going to draw a boy Animal Crossing character. Now, this is not what every boy looks like in the Animal Crossing game. This is built up around my husband Steven. But the thing is, the body shapes of the boy and girls are relatively the same. So when you're drawing the character, whatever your character might look like, the build up is still the same. Like the body blocking and off and everything. There's nothing really definitive towards the gender. So I'm gonna teach you how to draw my husband's character. Now I know all boys are different and the characters are all different and the characteristics are all different but I just drew what he has on. So let's go ahead and get into that. I do a lot of commissions that are pertaining to Animal Crossing. I've been drawing people's um, characters with their favorite villagers. The thing is with my Animal Crossing characters they are a little bit Disney-fied. I like to Disney-fy a lot of my characters. This was my most recent one. Very cute. And I've got this one too. Judy's such a cute one. And then of course I, I do draw a lot of the actual characters all the time. It's like one of my favorite things is to draw <laughs> as many characters as I can. Alright, so I've got my husband's character character right here and I'm gonna set that up so I can have it as a reference photo. Now when we're drawing the characters their body buildup is basically the same if you're a girl or a boy. There's like no definitive like anything. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and draw a circle. Four And then we're just gonna bring down each side of those cheeks just a little bit. All right, so we can kind of go ahead and get rid of this guideline right here for our circle. We just wanna bring down those cheeks. Now we do have an eye guideline right here. Gonna go ahead, since this is straight on view, and we can shape this up a little bit more later on. Just kind of, we still want, you know, you still want this rounded top, but you do want these cheeks to come out just a little bit. And then we're gonna go right down the middle for that nose guideline. And then for the neck, not too much of the neck is showing. So you're just gonna go right underneath that middle guideline that we created. Bring down this side, bring down this side. Now for the shoulders, they don't really have that much of shoulder, so we're just gonna create one shoulder here and one shoulder here. Then for the body, you're just gonna kind of like go up and make kind of like a rainbow. So you see, I'm just making like a ring. So you're just gonna go up to the neck or replace his neck and you're just gonna kind of make like a little bit of a rainbow bridge and you're just gonna come down and close off that area. You still have your shoulders coming out from here and from here. After that, you're just gonna kinda come down here and circle it off. So you see I've got this part and this part, circle it off here. So we're gonna make a circle here and then a circle here. So that's for his little arm sockets to connect to his shoulders. So we're just gonna kind of like bring this down here and he's just relaxed. So we're gonna bring down this, this part of his upper arm and it's nice and relaxed. Then you're gonna bring down the lower part of his arm and that's nice and relaxed. Same over here, you're gonna go ahead and bring this down and then you're gonna go ahead and bring down the upper arm here. So there's the basic buildup of his, his arms are just resting at his sides and then we can adjust a little bit more. Like with some clothing items, it makes their arms a little bit fatter or wider. So we can just adjust that later on. So for their wrists, you're just gonna kind of like bring out each end, like a little bit of an hourglass here, an hourglass here. Hands are 
super simple. We just got a circle and then a circle. Very, very simple, very great. Then for the actual legs, the legs are built up all the same. Oh, don't die, please. So you're gonna bring down one leg here, like pretend we have shorts on. You're gonna leave a little bit of a gap in the middle. So we got shorts here and then leave a little gap in the middle. Their legs are slightly separated. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and bring down one top of the, so this is like, this is his thigh. So we bring down this part, this is his kneecap. Come down here, circle it off, another kneecap. So this is the entirety of his bottom half up here. And then you're gonna bring down his one calf here. And then one calf here. Now with the feet, we're just gonna be really simple. We're gonna make like the stub for the ankle and the stub for the ankle. Make sure they're the same size. And you're just gonna go down just a little bit and create another little oval in front of that. And this will be the buildup of the shoes. So you've got this back circle here and then these two front circles here. So it kind of lays it out and we can fill in the details for whatever shoes you're wearing. He's wearing like these high top sneakers. So that's what we're gonna leave alone. So we have the basic build up for the body. Now we can fill in the details. Everybody's Animal Crossing character, depending on what they look like, they all look different. Some hairstyles are different, some eye styles are different, and the noses are especially different. This is the one that I kind of like sat down with Steven and he picked it out because he doesn't play the game, but I control him on my island. <laughs> but I actually sat down next to him and he chose the colors and the hairstyle and what he wanted it to look like. And I actually updated this hairstyle because he's got like this Chris Hemsworth kind of four looking hairstyle going on. So I got the spiky one and the cool hairstyles and put that on him. So most importantly, the difference is we've got ears this time. And on the girl tutorial, we didn't have ears. So I went ahead, ears are super simple. There's nothing like really defining them. So we've got this one here, this one here. Now for his, I'm zoom in. Okay, for his eyes, we're gonna just kind of round off on one side. We're gonna round off here. So these are big old eyes. They're kind of like rectangular in a way. They're really rounded rectangular. They're not the rectangle square eyes, but they're like, they're big and they're, they seem a bit rounded at the corners in a way, but they're big round eyes. I'm just gonna make sure I get these as even as I can. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the pupil. The pupil's like right in the middle. Like you got like this half moon kind of thing. So you got like the fingernail moon going on. And then make this one over here for his pupil. People iris area. So his eye lash lines are really thick all around. So we could go ahead and line around the entire eye. And we're gonna go ahead and put the pupil right in the middle. And pupil right in the middle. And he's looking off to the right. Remember when I said that you can't be too close or too far apart when it comes to Animal Crossing features? I'm gonna make this more in the middle. All right, so this is where I'm gonna put my, his little nose. 
gonna put his little nose right there in the middle. So it's not too up here, and it's not too way down here. And he has a very simple smile too. I'm just gonna go underneath, I'm gonna make it a little bit closer. That's good, right there. Cause I always bring up the bottom of the head just a little bit when it comes to my style. I like to bring up the head just a little bit cause sometimes that big old head, <laughs> he looks scary. I gotta fill this in, hold on one second. Okay, so I am going to color this at the end, but right now I just had to fill in those those pupil iris areas, and I'm gonna shape up these, these eyelids a little bit more before I actually line them and get rid of some of these guidelines. kind of relatively placed, placed. So these, I guess they're little eyebrows. They're just gonna go right above these little eyelids. Or if they're eyelid lines, I'm not really sure. They might be the only eyebrows in the game. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm gonna just make a little eyebrow here and a little eyebrow right there. And then what I'm gonna do next is kind of shape up his head a little bit more before we go into his hairstyle. So with his head, uh, I, we want to make it as symmetrical as possible, so I'm going to bring in this ear just a little bit. There we go, there's a little bit more of an easy distance to deal with. So with his hair, now that we've kind of got, I might adjust this just a little bit more, but with his hair, he's got that spiky kind of look and he's got sideburns. So it's like a, like a really low fade all around except like the top. So on the side, we're gonna bring down one side over here, bring this down and go into his ear. So we've got like the sideburns here and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now he looks like an old man, <laughs> and all he's got left on the sides of his head are there. <laughs> so we've got this here. Bring down the sideburns here. Now starting from the top, like in the middle, we're gonna start with that first spike. Bring this up. We've got our spike hair right here. So we've got the first spike here, and then we're gonna make another spike here going down into the side of his head. So make sure it goes in, out, okay. Then we're gonna go over here, start with this, this spike. It's gonna go in, down. And then on top, we're gonna go ahead and make another spike, go up, down, bring this down in here. And bring up this spike here. And this one kind of like goes up and in, just like it kind of goes up here. And then we want to make sure that these are relatively close because they look almost like horns. So we got another spike that's in between these two spikes in the front. It kind of looks like it's going up and in, up and in. So they do, they look like horns. <laughs> but then we've got this one here. Bring in that one. I still feel like this is a little too high. No, it's not, okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna bring up this one and bring this down. So we've got this one going, I'm gonna bring this down too. The thing is, when I'm drawing Animal Crossing hair, I try not to be as like constricted to the lines. I like to adjust as much as I can. No, 
Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring down <laughs> his head. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like round this off from the ear, round it down in a little bit more. Same over here. I'm gonna round it down. And you see how much nicer that makes it look instead of doing the full kind of like box that they have going on. And you can go ahead and get rid of a little bit more guidelines inside the face. Oh look, a floating head. All right, now Later on, you can kind of go and add like the sides of the spikes to kind of add a little bit more in depth, like they're inside here and they're inside here. And that will be like a coloring thing too, but if you're just lining, you go on each side of the spikes and go down into the hairstyle. Just to add depth here and there, kind of loosen it up a little bit more. And I mean, I like to add like extra hair lines into the hairstyle. Then what we're gonna do after this, he does not have blushy cheeks. He told me he doesn't want them, so I am not going to give it to him. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring down that neck once again. And he's got this bomber style jacket on. So it's kind of like the cool biker jacket. So he has like, we're gonna come up on the side of his neck here and his side of his neck here. Bring down that collar. And he's got a t-shirt underneath. You can see the t-shirt. And we bring down the zipper, but then we go underneath, bring down that collar here and bring down this collar here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create the zipper. So this shoulder is gonna go down and this shoulder is gonna go down. And then we've got like a crease of the sleeve for the jacket. So I'm gonna draw one here and draw one here. And then let's start with this arm. Now remember with their bellies, their bellies are always protruding <laughs> over their arms. And like I said before, this jacket is going to make his arm kind of go out. So we got nice skinny part here and then it goes out same down here out and then back in and we're making a crease for the jacket go back into his arm and then he's got kind of like a little cuff link i don't know what to call it just the bottom of the jacket and you can add a little bit of lines into that little cuff link and then his cute little hand stays as circle as possible circle as possible circles so we're gonna go ahead and add a couple more little lines up here. And then this one over here has a zipper on his arm. So that's an interesting addition. So go skinny and then we're gonna bring out here. And then we're gonna go down here and bring this out. And then we're gonna make a little cuff link again, whatever. I know it's not wrong. I don't know the anatomy of clothing. So bring out this side, bring out this side. And then we've got a little zipper on his arm. We're just gonna go ahead and make like that opening and then we're gonna make a little zipper here. And then for his jacket, so, oh, I'm gonna bring this out, right there we go. There we go, that's better, more uniform. So you could actually go in and brace the guidelines of the arms if you would like. just bring this down the zipper is gonna go down right into the middle of the jacket and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut off right here for the bottom of the bottom of the jacket now to add a little bit more we're gonna go it's gonna start from the line here it's gonna go in and then go out and it gives a little bit of definition just like it's a bulky jacket bring out the sides into that waist band on the jacket and then we've got a little pocket here make that a little 
pocket there and another one on the other side and it's got buttons in the middle of it so i'll make a little pocket here little pocket here circle and circle and then bring out that zipper all the way down give it a little bit more of a couple of creases to make it look more like a jacket and a couple more lines on the waistband now for his pants he has acid washed jeans on so I'm just gonna draw like basic pants so I'm gonna bring out this side over here underneath this waistcoat and I'm just gonna go and follow along my legs that I have created and go all the way down into that top of that foot that we started same thing just go right alongside of it I'm gonna do the same over here that down, go right back up, and bring this side down. And that is the basic shape of jeans. <laughs> go ahead and I can erase all the guidelines in the middle. Basically turn my husband's character into like a mini Joe Jonas. <laughs> I don't know. Nick Jonas, how about that? Okay, so we're gonna go, we made like the middle for the zipper and then we're gonna bring down the side pocket here, go into the leg, same over here, bring down this side pocket, go into the leg too, there's the pockets. And then that's basically it. I'm gonna kind of like turn this up just a little bit more a little bit more of like this the bottom of the body for the shoes the shoes are kind of stylish looking high tops yep so we're gonna try to teach you how to try <laughs> all right so we're gonna we're gonna keep this this is going to be the tongue of the shoe same over here the tongue of the shoe and then we're gonna go down this way bring down that tongue so there's the tongue of the shoe tongue of the shoe Still keeping these circles as our guidelines. Then we're gonna bring out this side over here. And go down. Same over here, bring out this side. And go down, round off the bottom. Do the same thing over here. We're gonna bring out this side. Go down to the bottom. Same over here, jump over here. Go down into the bottom. Bring out this side just a little bit more. Then I'm just gonna go over here, circle underneath here, circle underneath here. Then where we stopped right here is where we're gonna create our little shoelaces. So let's not get too complicated. We're just gonna go make a couple of shoelace lines. Same over here, shoelace lines. off and then cut that off bring up this part of the shoe so the shoe has like the front part and then they're right here and they're right here and then we've got a line here still keeping that tongue and a line here and those are like some black lines just for the style same over here I'm gonna create these black lines for the style So it's all like gray tops and they've got like the thick soles on the bottom of the shoes and you can kind of go and just straighten this up a little bit. It looks chaotic now, but it'll look much nicer when it's all nice and lined. And then we've got the, the tops over here are black as well. I'm gonna add like a couple of like stitches on the side of the acid wash jeans because they do have stitches. I'm just do that. This will overall look 10 times better once I go ahead, grab my oh hoo hoo markers, and I'm gonna go ahead and color him in. All right, let's get into that. <laughs>
Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial series. So if you haven't seen, there are two different parts. I've got a girl character here that I teach you how to draw, and I've got the boy character that I teach you how to draw. And if you're at all interested in any of the commissions that I sell, I draw uh, Animal Crossing characters. Obviously, try to draw yourself first, but if you would like to commission me for, um, since I draw like all the Animal Crossing people with their favorite villagers and stuff, then you can go ahead and check that out on my Etsy. Here's a cute one I just did. And if you guys are at all interested, if this would be like a successful kind of like fun tutorial series you guys would like to learn more about, like if you would like me to draw different characters, like maybe um, different races, different eyes, different hairstyles. I would totally be up for that if you guys want to leave in the comments down below. Or if you want to learn any particular fun Animal Crossing characters like Celeste, KK, or um, Isabel, Tom Nook, any of the, the little Nook twins, or uh, Daisy, I'm totally up for that as well. I'm all about Animal Crossing right now. But yes guys, I hope you will have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye!